What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthuxy and welcome back today to the start of a brand new Minecraft adventure. Today we are going to be playing Rebound and I'm so, so excited to play this map because it is made by our friendly neighborhood developer, McMackenstein. Now we've covered a lot of this dude's um, creations like um, command block creations on the channel previously, but... I just found that he'd done a map, and I'm really, really excited to play this. Um, I don't really know too much about it just yet, but let's actually get into the storyline. So I think, look at this, this is so, so cool. Uh, but yeah, we need to jump down. Are you guys ready to go on adventure? Three, two, one, hoop! <laughs> and here we go, boom! Ah, another beautiful day in prison. Let's see, how many more days have I got to spend here? Wow, that is quite a lot of days. Holy mother. Oh my god, it's the last day! Today I'll be released. Spending several years in prison has definitely been one of the toughest chapters in my entire life, but now I can finally enjoy freedom again. Colin Treves, murdering Mr. Star Wars we was a horrible deed. But you got your punishment. Go to the harbor, there's a ferry that will take you to the city. Enjoy your freedom and remember, if you're tempted to do anything illegal, we'll meet again. <laughs> man, that was one creepy guard. Oh my goodness, so I, I'm a bad man. I am a bad, bad man, so I I did something bad. I've served my time in prison, and now it is a chance for me to regain my life. So we've got here quest, and we've got go to the harbor. All right, all right. So let's do that. How on earth do we go to the harbor? Look at all these jail cells. <laughs> There's no other people in here. Can we steal anything? Ooh, steak, yes. Steal, steal from the other inmates. Oh, this is why I was in here in the first place. Bad things. Okay, so let's actually try and bust out of this place. Uh, although we're technically allowed to. Ooh. Hey, look at that. That's looking pretty harbory. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited to play this map. Um, there should be, like, loads of amazing command block wizardry, as is always the way with uh, McMuckenstein. So, how do we get out of here? Anything in here? Hello? I've got some chesticles. I'm going to pop some chesticles, but I'm not seeing very much in here at the moment. Uh, yeah, okay, so there's nothing really to do in here. I guess that just what we need to do is go to the harbor. So how do we get out? I mean, no one's escorted us anywhere, so I'm assuming it's in this direction, and boom! Yeah! Okay. Okay, so I think that... What's this say? Welcome home. <laughs> okay, so I'm wondering if this is the direction that we need to go in. It kind of looks sort of harbory, and we need to try and find the ferry, which is going to take us into the city. So it seems like we're kind of like on an Alcatraz-style island thing in the middle of nowhere, and we need to actually get the ferry out. Oh, there it is! Hey, pretty cool. Okay, let's get out of here. We've spent too many years on this island. There's some fish. Let's take the cooked salmon. Let's let's just take all the fish we need. You know what? Let's just the fish is there. Let's have the fish. And dun 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 dun. Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh, welcome to Alcatraz. It is Alcatraz. Hey, pretty good. Okay, let's just take the fish because we might need some nombles for the journey, and we can actually go on the boat and hoop. Ooh. Oh, hi, I'm the ferryman. I'll take you to the city. Hope you're a better person now. Just have a seat inside and the journey can start. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so if we sit here. Nice. Your journey is starting. Oh, this is so exciting. Welcome to Parkston. Wow, that was a quick ferry ride. <laughs> God, what is this thing? Is this like a, like a, like a, I don't know. It's like the fastest boat in the world. This is crazy. Okay, so we are now in the... Are we now in the city? Oh, this looks like a port. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello, you. Hey, little brother. Hey, how you doing? Not too bad. Finally, you are out of prison. Yes, I've been very bad, but I'm good now. Uh, let's meet at your apartment so we can have a drink and talk a little bit. Okay. Sounds pretty good. See you there. Bye. I hope we're just having tea or something. It's a little bit early for an alcoholic beverage, don't you think? Look at the size of this. Why couldn't I go on that ferry? That's an amazing ferry. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Okay, so this is an awesome map, and it shows us all about the city. So I wonder where my apartment is. That is going to be the key. So does this quest say, visit your brother at your apartment. The address is Princess Street 52B. So if we open up this map, Princess Street is kind of straight, then left, then straight. So we need to go down Autumn Vale. We need to take a left, follow the road... Uh, and then we need to go right. Okay. Pretty cool. So let's go and meet our brother. There's more fish. Why is there fish everywhere? 
<laughs> I suppose it is like near the sea, I guess. Okay. So let's go. Oh, wow, look at the city. Hey, looking good. Is there anything to steal? I mean, there's fish. We have established <laughs> there is more fish than you can ever eat. But I'm kind of thinking like gear or a car or something. That would be awesome. Let's have a little look around here. This is a shop, but we don't have any money, which is a little bit of an issue. So let's go um, to our house. So, oh, we run really, really quickly, which is quite nice. So let's go to Princess Street. Let's follow this down. And hopefully we should be able to find where we're looking. Ah, so check this out. We're not here yet, but look at the plane in the sky. Can you see that? That is so cool. So I'm kind of just learning my bearings here. We have the Autumn Vale, which if we look at our map, is kind of like the long street. So we're somewhere around here. This looks a little bit like a petrol station. I think it is. But at the moment, there's no one here. It's like Day Z. It's just been completely ransacked. I, I kind of want, you know, little nibbles and bits and pieces that you get in a petrol station. You know, like Coke and crisps and chocolate and yeah, all that stuff. But there's nothing here. No cars, no nothing. There's no people either which is a little bit weird, but let's keep going down Orton Vale and let's go all the way to the end and then take a left. Okie dokie, it's coming pretty close. So we are on the corner, like where that bend in the road is. So it should be the next right to get back to our apartment. That plane is so cool, just in the sky there. Really awesome. So you run really like super quick in this map. It's kind of crazy, but we're getting to our places. It's quite big actually, so it does make sense. Ooh. Look at this. So this is Josh's bakery. This is the road that we live in. So this is a baker. Hello, Josh. How are you doing? Oh, we've got no money. We need to get some money. Okay, okay, okay. So we need to go to what? What was it again? Uh, we need to go to Street 5, Princess Street 2, uh, Princess Street 3. Where's Princess Street 5? Uh, Princess Street uh, Underground Station. Where's Numero 5? Ah, Princess Street 5. This must be it. Is this it? It's looking pretty good. Is my name here? No. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Am I in the right place? 2B, so it must be the second floor in apartment B, right? I'm kind of guessing. I'm just sort of making this up as I go along. But okay, so this is the second floor, so I'm looking for apartment B. Uh, that is 2A, and this must be mine here, 2B. Yes! Nice! Uh, tip, right-click to sit down in the chair. Okay, cool. I'm clicking. I'm right-clicking! Please! Oh, this chair. <laughs> okay, boom! Okay, oh, what did you say? So, I have good news and bad news. What do you want to hear first? Uh, okay, do we pick good or bad? Let's go, let's hear the bad news first. I'll just start with the good news. <laughs> I picked bad. Okay, the, uh, I paid the rent for the apartment during your absence, so there's not sold to anyone else. No worries, you don't have to pay me back the money. I also kept your credit card and now your phone uh, and your phone safe. Now you can have it back. But here's the bad news. Since you murdered Mr. Star Wars, we... Yep. <laughs> Your reputation in the town is pretty bad. There is a lot of hate against you, and nobody really likes you anymore. Oh. <laughs> okay. Mr. Wilson has so much work at the moment. Why don't you visit him at the post office and ask if you can help him? You really have to become more popular. Right, so I think the goal is maybe we need to like try and redeem ourselves around the town and like become super Mr. Awesome Man again, I guess, or something like that. I mean, I did do something pretty bad, so hmm. just having a little look around my apartment. Very good, very good. So we've got a credit card. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I've got 50 money. How cool is this? All right, so I've got a credit card, and this is the next quest here. So go to the post office and offer Mr. Wilson your help. So the address is 2 Princess Street. Oh, so it's really, really close to us. Hey, nice. Now I wonder, oh, I've got a phone as well. So cool. All right, so if I go to the post office, maybe I need to get some kind of like job, and then that might be a way of doing it. Pretty cool. So I think this actually is sort of based loosely off the Grand Theft Auto games. Obviously, it's not like the same kind of thing, but it's kind of based around it's sort of like a city adventure style thing. So very, very cool. Look at you guys. Are you having a date? I wonder if I can come and come and come and ruin it. <laughs> I can't get in. No. How do I get in? I want to get in. Can I can I get through? Oh, who are you? Mr. Andrews. What do you sell? Oh, $21 for a ticket. Maybe we have to come back to you later on. Huh. Okay, so let's go and try and find the post office. Uh, that's the underground station. 
So the post office must be somewhere around here, right? This is two Princess Street where we need to go to two. So, oh, this is it. This is it. This is it. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Are you the postman? All right, who should you be? Um, maybe you can be like Australian. I'll try and do Australian. I know. There's so much work to do. <laughs> so sorry. I could never finish it all alone. I need your help, please. People always say I'm Australian. I'm terrible at Australian. If you could distribute seven letters for me, my day would be a whole lot better. Good day. <laughs> Such a bad impression. Uh, okay. You want to do it? Thanks so much. Uh, here's the first letter. Put it in the correct mailbox. Something, something, something. Right. So, right-click the correct mailbox while holding the letter to put it in. You can see the address when hovering over the letter in your inventory. Try to memorize the street names and get to know the city a bit. You will need it throughout the map. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to deliver some letters for our Australian friend here. And then he's going to, like, get us a bit of favor. So if we hover over... Ah, look at that. Uh, letter. So this is Princess Street 3, Angela Blanche Powell. Oh! I've just figured it out. Remember when we went into our apartment block and there was like names in front? I think that must be what we need to do. So if we go to number three, which is, that's number five. Have we gone too far? Maybe we have, hang on. <laughs> okay, so this is this is Princess Street, which is where we live. So we need to try and memorize what's going on. Ah, there we go, number three. So remember like the mailboxes at the front? This must be it, so it's her. So if we do that, boom. Yes, letter delivered. Nice. Okay, so what's the next one? Uh, Smith Street 3. And I'm, I'm trapped in here. Smith Street 3. So if we go into our map, Smith Street is just the one right next to us. Okay. All right, here we are on Smith Street. So that's Smith Street 1 that we've just gone past. This is Smith Street here again. So these are the mailboxes outside the front. Ah, Smith Street 3. Boom. Hey. What's next? What's next? What's next? Uh, Leonidas Plaza B6. Wow, okay. Where's that? Aha! Found you! So this is Leonid uh, Leonidas... Uh, Leonidas? Yeah, Leonidas Plaza. Um, so what we need to do now is find uh, uh, B6. Okay, so B1. Dun, 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 dun. There's actually people here now, so this is looking good. Hello, sir. Uh, B3. Pretty good. Pretty good. This must be B4. No, this is B5. So is B6 on this side? And this is... Oh, that's A. No, no, we need to be on this side. Okay, is this B6 here? Come on. This is B7. What? <laughs> Where's B6? Ah, there it is. So it was on the top. Oh, man, I thought I did something wrong. Okay, so boom, there we go. Next letter. What have we got next? Leonardo's Plaza A2. Now, I know where that is. That is on the bottom floor at the bottom here. So let's go in this direction. Hello, lovely lady. All right. So let's go and do this. Man, we're a really good postman, I like to think. We're doing pretty well. You know, we've got to do this redemption thing. We've got to get back in everyone's favor. And I think we are doing a pretty good job so far. So what have we got here? We've got uh, A2. Is this the right one? Yeah, it is. Boom! Yes! Next one, we have Abbey Road 4. So let's go and find Abbey Road 4. Okay, that's this way. Yes, there we go. Finally found Abbey Road. So what do we need to do? We need to go Abbey Road 4. So that's Abbey Road 2. Uh, Abbey Road 4. Yes! Okay, let's stick this bad boy in here. Can't have many more left now. We need to go to Windy Greek Grove 15. Man, these names are amazing. Where's Windy Greek Grove? Ah, it's the big long one at the beginning. Okay. Whew. Managed to find this one. Man, this was so hard because there's like no houses on this entire road. Right at the end, you've just got this massive house. Boop, there we go. And I think this is probably the final one. Rosewood Lane 5 slash 4. Uh, Rosewood Lane. Okay, it's down this way. Here we go. Rosewood Lane 5 1, 5 2. Five, three, and five, four. Yes. Okay, so let's put this letter in. Boom. Yes. That letter uh, was the last letter. Now return to the post office. Okay, so we can go back to the post office. I'm kind of learning, like, the layout of this map. It's so, so big, though. It's absolutely crazy. But we're starting to, like, learn where all the roads and stuff are. So it should make life a little bit easier. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I've got to say, on a scale of 1 to 10, postmaning, pretty hard. I'm going to give this a solid 7 out of 10 for this job. 
because um, <laughs> you've got to like remember where all the houses are and stuff. So pretty good, actually. I, I, I don't know if I'd be able to do post manning in real life. Very, very good. Uh, all right, so I've already got myself lost. Um, let's try. <laughs> Let's try and get back to where we need to be. I think it was down here, right? Yeah, this is looking good. Okay, so we're back in the post office. And come on, give me some love, my Australian buddy. Let's do this. Yes. And talk to me, please. Oh, there we go. Wow, you delivered the letters. Thank you so... Oh, <laughs> didn't read it. Thank you so much. What did you say? No, I need... To oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Bear with, bear with. I literally just said like, thank you so much. I'll see you later. So yeah, there we go. We've done we've done our first job. So I wonder. Oh, Roy. Oh my goodness. Select to accept. Yeah. Accept the call. Accept the call. Please accept the call. Select and then click to accept the call or click to deny and click accept. <laughs> oh, do I actually put the phone in my hand? Oh, that's so cool. There we go. Boom. Hey, little brother. It's me, Roy. Good job in helping Mr. Wilson. Uh, you are starting to become more popular. That's very nice to see. I uh, know. Pretty good, hey? Pretty good. Right. So you seem hungry after that job. Yes, I am starving. Did we do good, though? Did we do good? Uh, why don't you come visit Josh's Bakery in the Princess Street and buy some food? Bye. Okay, little brother. No, big brother. I'm his little brother, right? Yeah. Okay, so when the phone rings, I have to actually... Add, oh, that's so cool. Okay, so we need to go to the bakery. I think we already actually accidentally visited it before, and I think it was this place, right? This looks... Was this the bakery? No, this wasn't. That was the theatre ticket. Um, Which one was the bakery again? Uh, Was it this one? Yeah, it was the one right on the end, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, so who are you going to be? Uh, you are going to be... Uh, who's Josh's bakery? There we go. Hi, Josh! Oh no, it looks like they don't accept credit cards. Hmm, guess I'll have to go to the bank and get some cash. Ah oh, yeah, taking out them fat stacks, baby. I've got $50. Pretty good, pretty good, lads. Okay, so where on earth is the bank? Uh, I don't think I saw any bank when I was wandering around. Does anything here look vaguely sort of banky? Uh... Uh... <laughs> Oh dear. I think I'm going to have to find the bank. What does this say? This is the police station. All right, that's the police station. So pretty good. Let's see if we can find the bank. Of course, my book updates with the quest stuff. Yeah, so we've got the quest book here. It says, go and get some uh, cash from the bank. Address is Smith Street 7. So we're on Smith Street here. This is Smith Street 3. Where is Smith Street 7? This is Smith Street 2. We've gone the wrong direction. What is that? Smith Street. Okay, so, yeah, I've got to remember, like, it shows you in the book where you're going. So that's very, very cool. This looks like the fire station. So we can remember that for later. What is this? Oh, no, I've gone the wrong way. Where is this place? It must be around here somewhere. This is Smith Street, so I've got that right. We need to go to Smith Street 7. So that's Smith Street 3. That is Smith Street 2. It can't be here, can it? Is this the bank? Uh, Is this it? Smith Street 4? It must be one of these big buildings here. Okay, cool. So that's 4. Let's go in this direction. So there's some really, really big things here. But I'm wondering if that's Smith Street. And then that turns to... Oh, this is Smith Street as well. This is good. This is good. It must be one of these. Oh, this must be it. Smith Street, okay. Um, is this it? Come on. Yeah, the bank. Haha, <laughs> found you. Okay, we need to take some money out. So we get the money from the account here. Uh, tip, to take money from your account, you have to select your credit card while standing in front of Mr. Jones. Then click the amount of money you want to have. Hello, sir. If you want to get some money, you just need to show me your credit card. Okay, there we go. Hey, and I can actually select money. Whoa. So let's take out... Uh, let's take out $30. Let's take out 35. Two, three, four, five. Boom. So I've got tens and I've got ones. And I'm going to leave the rest of it in there for now. But that's insane. Okay, let's get back to the bakery. Let's go and buy some sweet, sweet cakes. All right, Josh, I got the money. I got the money, buddy. All right, let's do this. So boom, what can we buy? Some baked potatoes. We can buy some bread. Are oh, they really cheap, actually? Pumpkin pie. Or nothing. Um, 
Let's actually buy, let's buy two pumpkin pies because why the heck not, right? Uh, and let's also buy, I wonder, oh, oh, my phone, my phone, my phone, my phone, my phone, accept, accept, accept. There we go. Hey, Colin. Hey, buddy. What's up, Roy? All right, what's cracking? What's cracking? Some other people in the city seem to need your help. Uh, in your apartment, you will find a map showing their locations. Thanks, man. Much appreciated. I'll check it out, yo. All right. No worries. Pretty busy with work lately. I won't be able to help you out a lot, so you're on your own now. Oh, cheers, bro. Okay, that's fine. I just help out as many people as I can. Okay. All right. See you, Colin. See you later. Bye. Much love. Kiss, kiss. Bye. Nice. Okay, so... I guess we'll head back to the apartment and see what next jobs and things we can do to, uh, yeah, to do some good in the world.